Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you all. So in this video, I want to share what I'm going to be doing for day five of the 30 day art challenge in the group Thriving Christian Artists on Facebook. So all that stuff that you see there is stuff that I need to use now. This right here, the pieces that you saw were all cut up because for day five, we have to make something. The challenge for day five is to make something out of something we would typically throw away. So these came in my husband's sneakers. And I was going to throw them out today. And I said, you know what? I'm going to use this in order to make my piece of art. So I cut up cut out some pieces and I will explain those pieces what those pieces are for in a moment so I'm gonna put that to the side but what I want to share with you is oops the binder that I created for this challenge right and this is going to not be something for just 30 days because I'm a part of the mentoring program so it's things I have in here um, once the 30 day art challenge is over I'll probably put another sheet in here um, and punch a hole and just put this in um, to store it but I want to still use the binder so I'm going to turn this around hopefully I'm in the frame yes so this is a piece of mixed media art that I had created and then um, I had put these words on over the image because um, I took a picture of what I had created this was a while ago um, and I kept it as a background and then I said I could write on it whatever I want so, right here, I only have day 10. I have to print out the other 20 days. But day 5, I did, I did, um, yeah, so I still have to fill out that, I filled out the portion for day 1 and day 2. I still have to fill out the portion for day 3 and 4, even though I did um, do the art. So, I'll do that later on. So, so day five, it says, make a piece of art out of something you would otherwise throw away. And each day, the reflection question so far has been the same. What did you enjoy most or least about today's challenge? What did the Lord show you through today's challenge? So, so that right there, I have to print out the other rest of the pages. I want to see if I could try to print it out in color. I'll see. So then I made a copy. I took the image of the challenge, put it on a paper, made a heart, and then you know, wrote what the section is about, which is my art. So this is day one. I think I showed day one and day two. Day three, we had to go to a random scripture to open the Bible and choose a random scripture from where we opened up and do a piece of art on it. So I mentioned before, if you in the previous video, that I'm not trying to overwhelm myself with this. It's to challenge me, and I'm do trying to do more drawing. And I have some other ideas to implement to, like, develop my skill set. So, um, I had turned to the book of Revelation. And that page was, um, I chose Revelation 10, 9 through 11. Where he was told to take the little book and eat it. And then to prophesy. So, I drew a book. I sketched it out the best way that I could. I challenged myself. This right here. I don't know if you, yeah. This right here was very challenge for, challenging for me. Because I wanted to draw realistic hands and I did the best that I can do because we had to take a script we had to do a piece of art based on a childhood memory. And um I just chose when my Psalm twenty seven ten, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. And then I put my name in the palm of God's hands. You know, um you know, I had my I faced parental issues with my parents. So you know, I just wrote how I saw God, even with all the struggles we had as a family and the parental issues that, you know, I had with my parents. Um, I could see the Lord was there with me, taking care of me and also my siblings as well. But this was more personal. So, you know, um, so I put I wanted to draw like God's hands with me in a, his hands, him holding me up. Because King James Version said, then the Lord will take me up. So, that's what I did for day four. Yesterday was day five, but this weekend was my husband's birthday. 
And um, yesterday we also had, we was kind of busy, so I, I had to just like wait till today to do day five. But anyway, so that's day four. And so then I put my mixed media pad that I bought for this here because of my I'm sketching or using any other mediums most of the time i'll be using this mixed media page to date tonight to date right now i'm not going to because well i will probably later for day six i don't know what day six is but for day five i have something else i need to do and i probably won't be able to put it in here but i'll take a picture and then store it in here and then notes because i watch for the mentoring program and the webinars i watch um the videos and i'm learning stuff so you know right here i'm just taking notes and stuff like that of my next steps and then right here is my artist inventory that I had to download and work through my husband and I are working through this and then our roadmap to breakthrough Matt Tommy we mentoring if you want you can go there and check him out it's truly a blessing and this is my oh yeah this is for let's get organized so I put that in this goes right here Okay, so that's a challenge I'm doing with let's get organized on the fruit of the um no self control, um um expressions of faith with Judith um do scripture writing and um journaling, she's doing a, a challenge on the fruit of the spirit. So um hopefully I'll be able to do a few pages with that too. And Jesus Journal Junkies, they're focusing on joy, but right now my focus is on like my group and this right here. And, um, let's get organized. And so I'm going to try to also do Jesus Journal Junkies and the Fruit of the Spirit. Um, but I have to do it at a pace that, you know, um, is right for me. So, and, um, I have some ideas on how to condense the challenge for myself. So, um, I may not be doing it something daily. I was thinking about doing something where I take all the scriptures and do something. So, and some ideas float in my head. I got to see how the Lord leads me with um, continues to leave me rather with that. So, so for day five, right? So, also I have this piece of cardboard. This was um, a piece of um, packaging um, from something my husband purchased. It was a box, so I cut the um, flaps off because I want to make some picture frames with them. But I'm using one of them to help me with um, this project. So, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So, the first thing I'm going to do, right, is um, I'm going to create, like, you see how I'm doing this? Let me see. You can see it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to, I was going to do it flat, but I think not. I think I'm going to do this in a way where it can stand up, right? It can stand up. So, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be challenging. So, and what I'm going to do is make a flower, right? Now, my first intention was to lay this down flat, right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have all these pieces here. I cut it out. I was going to do this and hot glue, right? And make like this thick flower out of these pieces, right? And I'm going to use just so I'm going to use all that good stuff too. But I'm thinking now I don't want to do that. I think I want it to stand up. <laughs> And challenge myself. So how I'm going to make this stand up, I don't know. But I think I have an idea just now by looking at this. So, first thing. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to play some music and come back at the end.
got to do is have just a little bit of faith
um i struggled a bit with it let me see if i can show you a side view let me show you let me see if i can you see so i have it kind of like propped up there um yeah so it's my first time doing something like this it was a challenge and i'm grateful that you know i tried it and um you know i think i'm gonna try to put it up somewhere i don't know exactly where but you know it was all about um just creating and like just doing a piece of art with something that you would typically throw out i wish i had another petal right here i think it kind of moved on me oh no it didn't it was just that so yeah so you know so that's it i mean i like the texture of it and it was just a fun little project um next time i would like to have like um i don't like the way that the polka dots don't meet but I'm trying not to major on that, major on a minor, because the whole thing about it was just experimenting and challenging myself, so I'm going to take some pictures, and I'm going to post it, and um, this is what I did for day five, you know, and um, uh, um, I guess what's important is that I stepped up to the challenge, so, yeah, and then you learn things as you go, so that I can't say that this is not something I won't try again, I actually like it. It's amazing to take, I, it's amazing what people could come up with. And, you know, I know I haven't been in a group today yet. So, I'm going to go and see um, for post five from yesterday to see, um, you know, what people um, created. It would be really, really nice to see, you know. Um, and I, you'd be surprised what people come up with. You know, you could take a bunch of boxes and paper and things that you're going to throw out and take them to a class or wherever and say okay let me see what you come up with <laughs> and you know like that so yeah so yeah i wish it would stand up a little bit more but you know it's okay it's it's kind of on a slant but as long as it's not laying flat down so so yeah so that said i want to say thanks for watching god bless you and remember jesus loves you bye bye